Welcome back for another hand building class. We'll be building this turtle here today. You can kind of see here as I spin it around. We worked on the shell and first started with a pinch pot bowl and then added all the features like the head and the feet and the tail. And then we used our popsicle stick, had that handy to add the hexagon shape. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera so as you can see a little bit better as we work here. You can see in the background we have clay bunnies from last week and we'll be adding a tutorial on a deer as well. That one was in process and I'll continue to add to that. Okay, so for the turtle today, you'll need a ball of clay for the pinch pot, which will soon be a shell. I'm gonna set this over to the side here. And I'll leave that there for reference. Okay, so I'm gonna take a ball, about half the size of my fist here, you can see the size, and I'll roll that, just kind of smoothing out all the surface to eliminate any cracks. You can put it in between your hands here, like this as well. Adding a little bit of pressure. You'll need your bowl of water a wooden skewer, your popsicle stick. If you happen to have a paintbrush on hand, that would be great just for smoothing out the slip as you add that and join pieces together. Okay, so we'll start by pinching here. And as you make your pinch pot shell, you're rotating the clay in your hands to get that nice even, even thickness throughout your walls here. And if I'm working a little too fast, just feel free to press pause here until you're caught up. And I'm noticing that some areas are thicker than others, so I'm just kind of feeling that quarter inch all the way around. Where it's thicker, I give it a little squeeze. If it's already thin, I just kind of skip over that area. All right, so it's already starting to look like a little bit of a shell here. I like to kind of just move my finger across the top to smooth that out. If you come across any cracks like that, you can take your popsicle stick, blend the clay over the crack there. And using your water, just add a little bit of water. Smooth that around with your fingertips. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit more clay for the head and here the size set it up against your shell to see if that looks good and then you'll take the round piece that you've rolled and kind of create like a little oval here just a little bit of pressure and then you want to get that turtle face so We'll need to have space for this to kind of, kind of tuck under the shell. So I'm going to squeeze that here, and that's where I will attach it to the shell. Kind of flatten it out. And then kind of smoothing out that base. Kind of coming to a little bit of a point, not too much. I'm just kind of thinking I want my, my turtle, the 
it had to just come up a little bit out of the shell. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a shape here, just kind of pressing up, smoothing that around. And then I'll go back in with the wooden skewer, and I will add the eyes a bit later. So it's starting to resemble the shape of a turtle, and I'm just using a little bit of water there to smooth that out. about the same size for the feet. Just pinching those off. And then I'm also going to make the tail. And similar size to the feet, just a little bit different shape. I went ahead and rolled out the tail making a carrot shape there. All these pieces, I'm just creating like a little piece for that to attach to the shell there where my thumb is, giving it just a little pinch. And I'm going to use this wooden or popsicle stick to flatten the tail slightly. Set that to the side. For the feet. I'm going to roll that into a ball, smoothing all the edges, and then kind of squeezing that into a little bit more of a triangular shape for the feet, creating that, giving that little pinch where I will attach it to the shell, setting that to the side. Working on the next foot here. Kind of squeezing that triangular shape, giving that a pinch right here where it's going to attach the shell. Last foot here that I'm working on. So we have four feet, tail, and the head. Now I'm going to wait and finalize these features on the head after I attach it, just in case. While I'm attaching, I don't want to accidentally mess up any of those features. So on the shell, I'm going to take my wooden skewer and I'm actually going to carve out where I will be attaching the head. Carving out that shape there. Just using the pointed end of your wooden skewer. There we go. And I think I'm going to go ahead and also add this feature of the coil around the shell. I'm going to set that to the side. 